welcome to my YouTube channel. The topic for today is polynomial. So we will be looking at the topic polynomial. And what is the meaning of polynomial? Polynomial can simply be defined as an equation having what? An order or a power. For instance, when we are talking of order or a power, we are talking of something like this, x squared. We are talking like something like this, x to the power 3 plus x squared plus 1. So when we are talking of polynomial, it can be divided into many forms. We have what we term as a linear equation. We have what we term as a quadratic equation. And also we have one thing we term as a trinomial equation. And basically every other equation that is a power of 3, a power of 5, and a power of 6, we categorize them as the polynomial. So there are some things we want to look at under polynomial and the first thing we want to look at under polynomial is what we term as a substitution. And when we are talking of substitution, we are talking of question like this. That is, if f of x is equal to let's say 2x plus 1, they will ask us to find the value of f into minus 2. Now, when we want to look at the value of f into minus 2, that means we are going to compare. So, if you compare your f of x and your f of minus 2, it will give us 2 into, that means anywhere we are seeing x, we will change it to minus 2. And that will give us plus 1. So, 2 times minus 2 will give us minus 4 plus 1. And that means what? Our f minus 2 will give us minus 3. And that is how we solve substitution. Let us look at another question on that. We have f of x is equal to x to the power 3 plus 3x squared plus 5x plus 1. Now they are asking us to find the value of f of 2. Now if you are looking for f of 2, that means the same thing we are going to compare. And if you compare this and this together, that means we have our x as 2. So substitute your x as 2. What do we have? We have 2 raised to the power 3 plus 3 into 2 raised to the power 2 plus 5 times 2 plus 1. And what we are doing here is we are just substituting the value of x as 2 inside this equation. And what is 2 raised to the power 3? It will give us 8. Plus 3 times 2 raised to the power 2 will give us 4. Plus 10 plus 1. And if we solve this, we have it as 8 plus 12 plus 10 plus 1. And if we add these together, this one will give us 20. And this one will give us 11. And that will give us 31. So that is how we solve when we are having substitution. Now, under substitution again, let us try to look at this question. We have if f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 5. They said we should find the value of f of x minus 2. So that means how can we find the value of f of x minus 2? That means the same thing we are still going to compare. That means we are going to substitute our x now as x minus 2. Because when we compare this, you can see our x is inside the bracket. And what are we having inside the bracket? We have it as what? x minus 2. So anywhere we are seeing x here, we will change it to what? x minus 2. We are having x, we will change it to x minus 2 plus 5. And now we cannot leave our final answer like this. We have to expand. So if you expand this, making use of our Pascal triangle, it will give us 2x squared plus 2 into x minus 2 plus minus 2 squared plus 2 into x minus 2 plus 5. So let's solve this. This will give us what? x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus if we expand this again, we have it as 2x minus 4 plus 5. So let's call it like times here. We have, we have big x squared. Now minus 4x plus 2x will give us minus 2x. 4 we cancel minus 4 and that will give us minus 5. So that means our f of x minus 2 is giving us what? x squared minus 2x plus 5. Now taking it a little bit step further, we are going to move to what we term as the addition and the subtraction of polynomial. So when we are talking of the addition and the subtraction of polynomial, what are we saying? 
Let us look at this question. We have if f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 5. And we have and g of x is equal to 2x plus 5. They are asking us to get the value of f of x plus g of x. So that means how can we say our f of x, our f of x from this question is x plus 5 minus our p of x is x squared plus 2. So that means if we want to solve it, let us expand this bracket. Use your minus to expand. That means we have this. And if you collect like times, we are having it as minus x squared. We only have an element of x here. And we are having 5 minus 2 to give us plus 3. And what do we have? We pick minus to be common to them. And that will give us x squared minus x minus 3. So that is that for addition and the subtraction of polynomial. Now, taking it a little bit step further again, we are moving on to what we term as the multiplication of polynomial. And under multiplication, multiplication of polynomial is divided into two. And the first one is what we call the scalar multiplication. Why the second one is called a polynomial multiplication. Now, let us pick the first one. What is the meaning of scalar multiplication? Scalar multiplication is when we are using a constant number to multiply a polynomial. For example, we have a question like this. If f of x is equal to x plus 7, they say we should find the value of 3f of x. So that means if we are looking for the value of 3f of x, it will give us 3 into x plus 7. That means 3 times f of x. And if we expand this, it will give us 3x plus 21. So that is that about a scalar multiplication. And under this again, they are now going to miss it. Exam questions is for them to miss a scalar multiplication with addition and subtraction. So let's look at the first exam question here. We have if f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 8, and our g of x is equal to 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. They said we should find the value of 2f of x plus g of x. So how can we find this? This man is a scalar, and we are missing it with addition. So that will give us 2 into f of x. And what is our f of x from the question? We are having it as what? x squared plus 6x plus 8 plus our g of x will give us 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Now, let us expand what we have. We have 2x squared plus 12x plus 16 plus 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Now, let us collect like times here. 2x squared minus 2x squared will give us 4x squared. 12x plus 4x will give us 16x. 16 minus 10, so 16 minus 6 will give us plus 10. And that is how we solve questions pertaining to scalar multiplication, linking it with addition and the subtraction. Now, taking it a little bit step further again, let us look at the meaning of polynomial multiplication. Now, what is the meaning of polynomial multiplication? It simply means that we are using a polynomial to multiply another polynomial. For instance, we have something like this. If f of x is equal to x plus 2, and we have our g of x to be 4x plus 5. They are now asking us to find the value of g of x dot f of x. And how can we find the value of g of x dot f of x? That means what? The g of x is 4x plus 5 times our f of x, which is x plus 2. Now, let's expand. This time this will give us 4x squared. This time this will give us 8x. This time this will give us 5x. This time this will give us 10. And if we collect like times, what do we have? We have 3, 8x plus 5x will give us what? 13x plus 10. So that is how we solve polynomial multiplication. Now, under polynomial multiplication again, 
Let us look at this question. We have f of x to be x squared plus 4x plus 6. And your g of x is 4x minus 8. They said we should find the value of g of 2 times f of x. You can now see that this question, they are missing g of x, sorry, g of 2, that is what? Substitution. Missing it with the multiplication of a polynomial. And we have said this several times. If you want to find the g of 2, that means we have to do something we call the substitution. Now, that means for us to find the g of 2, we have to compare our g of 2 with g of x. So, compare your g of 2 with g of x. That means your g of 2 will give us 4 times 2 minus 8. So, we have 4 times 2, and 4 times 2 is 8 minus 8. And that will give us 0. So, you can now see that this is funny. And actually, our g of 2 is 0 times our f of x is x squared plus 4x plus 6. And anything times 0 will give us 0. You cannot see that the question looks so tough, but looking at it, the solution is... So this is where we are going to stop for the first tutorial video. And in our subsequent video, we'll be looking at the division of polynomial, looking at the remainder's theorem and the factor's theorem. I remain my humble self, Salami Titi Lopen Adini. I remain your Titiano. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and please don't forget to subscribe. I love you.